use it. Sawmill is a reporting software that we use for our streaming statistics. Sawmill data is collected overnight and is refreshed in the morning. Unlike live stats, which tells you what's going on right this second, Sawmill tells you what happened yesterday and every day that you've been streaming. So let's take a look. First, bring up Sawmill on your web browser. When you first open up your Sawmill, this is what you'll see. This is an overview of the entire date range that you have been streaming. And as you can see from right here, uh, we've been streaming from the 22nd of March to the 25th of July on this demonstration. Now, an important thing to know is to be able to pick a date. That's the very first thing we're going to cover. Right up here is where you click the button that says Date Picker. Inside the Date Picker, you start a beginning date and an ending date. So let's look at last month. Here we go. June 1. And then the end date of June 30th. Apply. And what you'll see come up next is the document with those dates. This is what happened in the month of June. As you can see, there were 178 unique client IPs. That's a real good number for the number of unique people who watched. Those 178 people watched a total of 1,024 streams with a total usage of 145 gigabytes. If all of those streams were laid end-to-end, -end, that would be 19 days, 18 hours, 18 minutes, and 22 seconds. In other words, each person watched an average of 45 minutes. The next thing we can look at is go here to the calendar. This is another way to pick what you want to look at, a very easy way. Now let's say we once again wanted to look at June. All we have to do is click on June and then click on what we want to see. For instance, the overview. And there you have the exact same report. Let's go back to our calendar now and let's look at a specific week, which is also very easy. This is great to make weekly reports. Let's look at this week right here in July. We click Week, and then go over to Overview, and we are now zooming to this week. And there it is. This is what happened during this week. 184 people watched a lot more stuff. What a great week. Now, as long as we're on this week, let's go back and uh, uh, look at some of the other things that are important about it. Number one. What did they watch? Well, that's very easy. We have this week featured. We go down here to stream names and click on that. And up will come the report of stream names. This tells you what they're watching. Now, the first one will always be blank because these are just communications between the server and the individual clients. But you can see that the live stream was viewed by 164 people. And then you can see these other on-demand streams were viewed these number of times. Very simple. Well, let's go back to the overview. And then we will go back to our calendar because we're still on that week. Let's go ahead and do the month of June again. We'll go back to June. And what I want to see is what countries watched in June. So up will come our document. As you can see, we have the United States, Brazil, and Canada. You can also click on the next one, which is regions. Regions is, in this instance, states, or states within other countries. As you can see, our top was New York, Pennsylvania, ones we can't tell, Ohio, Oregon, New Jersey, Florida, unknown cities in Brazil, <laughs> South Carolina, and Canada. You can also click on cities. And this is a lot of fun because we can see what was our most popular city for this event. Well, it was Jamestown. Well, what did they watch in Jamestown on the week of 1st of June, or the month of June this year? Well, you click Zoom. And you want to know what they watched. We'll go down to stream names. Well, the people in Jamestown in June mostly watched the live event. That's interesting. When did they watch this live event? So I will click on the live event zoom. I will go 
to date and time, and I would like to know which days they watched. So here we go. Here's a representation of the people in Jamestown watching our live event on what days of last month. Obviously, our most popular was June 22nd. You can drill as deep as you want to in Sawmill, or take it as easy as you would like. Uh, you can simply look at your usage from month to month on the overview, and away we go. There's the entire date range. It's that simple to operate. Along the left side, you can see all sorts of things here. Most of these are used for troubleshooting. But feel free to look at them. They're all quite interesting. Another important thing to know is that sawmill files can be exported in a CSV format. That way you can import it into Excel or into numbers in your Mac and get a much more detailed analysis of exactly what's going on in your server. 